This is Doug Mayo, Jackson County Extension Director. I want to share with you in this video about controlling southeastern pocket gophers and the technique that one of our local farmers has used to remove these nuisance wildlife species from its hay field. While the rodents do feed on the roots of grasses and other crops, the main issue in hay fields are the sand mounds they push up all over their burrow system and scatter across the hay field. These numerous piles damage hay equipment as we mow off the grass for harvest. All right, uh, we're here today. My name is Sonny. We're in Baskin, Florida, Jackson County. Well, we have a pocket gopher problem up here. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you how to successfully eliminate the gopher problem uh, by using one of these handheld these, uh, traps uh, this Victor makes this one, but there's several that look like this one. Okay, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to knock the dirt away from the from the mound. This is a brand new mound. I checked this morning, came out here, and there was three other mounds about 40 feet away. Um, but this is the freshest one. In fact, when we, when we pulled up, he was kicking up dirt, so definitely fresh. So we're knocking away. And the grass, the grass is still green, so it tells you it's, it's pretty fresh. Uh, and what we're going to do is, I like to kind of pile the dirt up here a little bit so I can use it back when, um, when we get done killing the gopher. Then you get your prod, your whatever kind of metal poker stick you use. I use this one. It's a long five foot thing. So you poke in the ground to see which in what direction the tunnel's going. And that, based on that, you can put your trap you know, in the hole. You actually dig where, where it's going to be at. So. Press it down. We got one here, but there's other gopher holes going that way, but we're gonna check around a little bit. No. Ooh, that was way down there. <clears throat> More than likely we're gonna come in this direction right here. Yep, here we go. So we're about about a foot down, a little less than a foot, maybe 10, 11 inches. So we're gonna go ahead and dig. Because it's a hay field, I kind of keep the plugs uh, intact so I can put them back in the ground. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort. You take the plug out put it off to the side and now it's already exposed in the hole right there okay here's the hole going in this direction right here so what we're going to do is we'll get our little pocket gopher trap set it up so what he'll want to do is he'll want to close this hole up to keep the air uh, and, the, and the light out of the hole okay you put this bar uh, the trigger mechanism Underneath this one here, as you press down with your thumbs, hold it with the thumb here, press this down, you bring up your trigger, press it like that, put it on the, on the bar. Now the further in, the more you have to push it. I kind of leave it at like a hair trigger, sort of. And these things right here will, will capture the gopher. And what I do is I use a a regular survey marker flare, a uh, survey marker flag. I'll wrap it up around here, and this way, when he gets caught, uh, if he pulls it in, I can always, you know, I pull this back out, and it uh, serves two purposes: lets you know that hey, something's got it, and uh, he can't pull it too far in. And if he does, we just pull it out. So here we go. Let's uh, give it a shot. There you go. And you want to put it in there as uh, far as you can, so he'll want to uh, shut the light off or, and uh, and dig. He'll he'll push dirt up around it and trigger the mechanism. Okay. Well, we got him. We believe flag's moving around. Let's see here. Pull him out. Yep. Sure enough, there he is. That little joker there does a lot of damage. And to release him from here, all you have to do is press down on the trap and 
and the pincers get released. And there you go, there's your pocket gopher. They call it pocket gophers because on this side, here you go, be able to see it better here. Your little pockets where he stores his food. So we've shown you the simple technique that can be used to trap pocket gophers. Trapping is the most effective way to control this pest. For help in controlling pocket gophers or pests in your farm or garden, contact your local county extension office for more information.